Earlier today, the FDA approved a new drug called ATX 101. It's been causing quite a bit of buzz in the cosmetic industry. Yeah, it doesn't have a nice ring to it just yet, but when you hear about what it does, you're going to love it. The drug targets an area that we don't hear about all that often, the dreaded double chin. Fox 10's Linda Williams has more. If you are one of the many bothered by your chinny chin chin, it appears hope is on the horizon. Double chin, what you're thinking about is actually fat in the area that should be a 90 degree angle. Due to weight gain or genetics, the doctor says fat cells can end up in abundance below your chin, making it appear you have two, three, or even more chins. It is called submental fullness. Dr. Pablo Pritchard, head of plastic surgery at John C. Lincoln Hospital, says ATX 101, also known as Kybella, is the new injectable drug just approved by the Food and Drug Administration. In trials, according to the drug maker Kythera on its website, double chin patients treated with ATX 101 have gone from before to after, before to after, before, after. It actually dissolves the membranes in the fat cells, and once the fat cell doesn't have that wall or the membrane around it, it just dies, and all that fat gets basically excreted and treated into the liver and back into circulation. So it removes it from this specific spot. The appeal for many is there's no downtime, says Dr. Pritchard. It's an in-office procedure. It takes like five or ten minutes. Cost? Well, there are no hard numbers yet, but the guesstimates place the cost at about $2,000 per treatment. These before and after pics of double chin patients indicate results are after five to six treatments of ATX 101. Five treatments could total over 10 grand. Dr. Pritchard says there are some patients who would require just one treatment. You could be if you have just a little bit, and then, but if you have a lot, like clearly this lady has a lot, then this is a multi-treatment. A leery public questions whether ATX 101 is safe. Most definitely I wouldn't do it. You have to know and if it, you know, things we find out 10 years later that, you know, okay, this gives you cancer or something like that. So no, it's not worth it. The doctor says the drug is a synthetic form of what your liver produces naturally. It's actually bile. It's part of what's excreted in the liver to dissolve our own fat in our intestines. So it's actually a portion of bile. Will people invest in these treatments to get rid of extra chins? I would. That'd be Look at this. Do you see this? This would be gone. <laughs> but then exercise is cheaper, so. I think it's all about looks, looking your best, things like that. So whatever improves it, makes you look better. I think it's silly. I believe uh, if you hit the gym and you work out, you, you might lose some of that double chin. Dr. Pritchard, who also runs his own office, cautions would be patients to take their time and do their research. It may sound odd, but... Be careful who you trust your neck fat to. With everything else, there's an art to it. You shouldn't just grab your Groupon and go and, and find the nearest uh, professional uh, closest to you. You should research it. You should find out who is good in your area. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News.